if we think of God as an extremely complex being, then the book that he has given us to understand him and the world around us, it's sort of a, a natural progression that that too will also be extremely complex. Anything else that we bring to scripture that would distort mm. it as we try to understand it? Yeah, I, I think this idea that the Bible is simple and is understandable for everyone before anyone gets too excited. Yeah, because I feel that tension. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't have a PhD almost, Johnny. <laughs> so what do you mean by that? Yeah, I I, I think um, obviously part of the Reformation movement is about making the Bible accessible and mm -hmm. saying that everyone should be able to read it and everyone should be able to have that sort of relationship with, with God. Uh, and I'm not saying that 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 is wrong, but there's this yeah. idea that um, anyone can grasp the whole meaning of the Bible, you just read it once. You know, like its meaning is plain. It will speak to you and it will tell you what exactly what you need to know. Right. Um, because it's God's word and God's word to us is understandable. Right, because it, it feels like, why would God give something to humans that we can't understand? That feels like God would be giving us something confusing and indiscernible and that seems mm -hmm. contrary to the god we believe in yep um exactly oh you're saying yeah. what <laughs> yeah. that it isn't so, simple so um there is a more jewish understanding that because the bible is god's word it should be really complex hmm. um so if we think of god as an extremely complex being then the literature, the book that he has given us to um, to understand him and the world around us, it's sort of a, a natural progression that that too will also be extremely complex. There are always more layers to, to find and to work through. To have two, at least 2,000 years of the whole Bible no, not quite 2,000 years, but a really long time of the whole Bible. Mm -hmm. And we're still debating what all of it means. Right. That's complex literature. If it was simple, we would know. And I'm not saying that the Bible should just be read by PhD students. Um, right. Definitely not. I spend a lot of time with PhD students and they're not always the best people to read the Bible. <laughs> 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 um, I mean, is it helpful to have in your church community or to have online resources where you can consult someone who is trained in biblical hebrew or in greek or in ancient cultures yeah that's that's really helpful um, yeah, it sounds helpful it's yeah because and for obvious reasons but but that doesn't mean that in order to understand the bible well you need to be one of those people but i think an important part of um, the Bible being complex is that it's foolish to read it on your own mm. and, and to think that as individuals, we don't need other people to, to read the Bible well. I mean, Paul in, in Corinthians talks about uh, the church as a body made up of lots of different parts. Um, mm -hmm. And I think we should see reading the Bible in, in the same way. I mean, it's literature designed to be read as part of a community don't read the Bible alone is almost like yeah. a really great little like quote. It's like, obviously we read it mm. privately, mm -hmm. but it's like, you shouldn't read it without the understanding of people from different cultures, different, different economic backgrounds, mm -hmm. different races, different genders, different ages. Yeah. Would you say that it's, they help us understand the complexity of scripture because we're able to bring different perspective yeah so the complexity rather than um that excluding everyone or excluding mm. large portions of the church i think it actually necessitates the inclusion of right. all parts of the church right it's like we need all hands on deck for this one exactly <laughs> <laughs> to understand the bible yeah <laughs> that was just a small clip from a conversation with my friend johnny who's getting a phd in the old testament studying stories of divine destruction we have a full conversation about how to make sense of those stories and how to remove distortions that we bring to the bible that keep us from understanding it if you want to hear the whole conversation click that video right there